So, hey everybody, um, today's day 19. I know you guys are worried about me, but I'm, I, please don't worry about me. I feel like I came like Robert Frost. There was a fork, I, I came into a fork in the road and I took the one less traveled by. My road says recovery and that's the road I'm walking down, okay? So I've got my pole socks on right now and right now I'm at 96 with a 97 pulse. So it doesn't take much for my pulse to go up. Normally I run a pulse of about 60 or 70. So I am a little winded, uh, but my pulse ox is really good. And you know, I got my cat and I got my dog here. Hi Mika, did you come see me? Yes, you did, I see that. And um, here's one thing. So the doctor yesterday, uh, I, I asked him if he would write me that uh, chloroquine prescription, which they used to use for malaria. And I read a lot about it. I don't know, you know, who knows whether or not it's going to really prove to be effective. But I read a lot about it that the um, malaria was also, uh, they used that drug and it attaches to the malaria um or it attaches to the cell so that the malaria can't attach to the cell. So something like that. And that it's got similar proteins. These viruses have proteins like on the outside of it, like it's a ball with those spikes and those spikes have proteins in them. And that protein has to attach to a certain spot on the cell. And so the anti-malarial drug chloroquine attaches to that uh, cell protein site, the receptor site. And then when the COVID comes around, it can't find a spot to land. You know, it's like playing musical chairs. You can't find a chair to sit on and you're the one that's out. So COVID is out. So don't worry about it. COVID is out. Um, the reason I say that is I did call my doc back home um, Dr. Gloria Beam, she's been helping me with my back all along, and she was kind enough to call me in a prescription for the chloroquine since the Vanderbilt guys didn't feel comfortable doing that. I guess there's a lot of controversy around it. And it's so funny, I don't think there should be that much controversy around it. It's been a drug that's been used since, I want to say the 40s, I'm not exactly sure, but anyway, um, in high doses and accidental overdoses and people who have some heart conditions, sometimes it can be a problem, but um, I'm gonna be taking it in, in a small amount. She called it in and we just got notification that the pharmacy here has it. So Phil's gonna go down and get that for me and guess how much it's gonna cost. And you tell me if it would be worth trying. Our cost for the treatment for one week of chloroquine is $5.74. So I'm kind of thinking this is gonna be the best $5.74 I've ever spent, just for peace of mind, even if it doesn't work. I think the antibiotics and what I'm doing are working. Cause see here, I'm talking to you. I mean, if you talk, you're kind of using some of your oxygen, but while I'm talking to you, my pulse ox is 98. Now my pulse is 98 also, but like I said, my pulse is the first thing to react. That's no big deal. I can handle a pulse of 100. That'd be like going for a walk, you know? It's just that I want my pulse ox to be above 95. That's, anything above 95 is good. Anything above 90 is okay. Anything above 80 is uh, getting, kind of worried about you at that point and anything down low 80s you know you're probably going in the hospital so I mean I'm 98 I know I'm supposed to be an A plus student you know and I am I'm a big achiever high achiever I don't like getting anything less than 100 percent but in this situation I'll take 98 percent so y'all have a good day don't worry about me you see me on video I'm doing okay Day 19, this surgeon's infected with COVID-19. Oh, and that swab that they put up my nose, this was good. This was good, I'm gonna tell you this one too. 
but so they put, you know, it's it's about this long, six inches long, and he's like, I got to put it all the way in, and I'm like, that's fine. So I'm sitting there on the exam table. It, he asked me, I had worn my mask in so that I wouldn't give anybody my disease, and uh, he said, just bring the mask mask down just right there, you know, leave your mouth covered. I guess that's a good idea, so I wouldn't cough on him if it made me gag or something. So anyway, he put it down. He said, I'm going to put it in slowly, but i got to put it way in the back. And so he put it in really slowly. And, uh, I mean, it was pretty gross, you know. But I was determined that I'm not going to act like a kid. I'm going to be brave. I'm going to sit there and take it. It can't last for more than a minute. I mean, and a lot of us girls, guys, you know, you've been through some stuff too, but until you've birthed a child through an opening that's only this big, it it gives you a different perspective on life. So anyway, he puts this thing in and he, and then once he gets it in there, I'm thinking, okay, that's it. He's going to pull it out. No, the guy spins it around about 35 times. I thought to myself, okay, now he's just screwing with me, you know, like he's just playing with me. But anyway, he spins it around, spins it around, spins it around, and he pulls it out finally. And he's like, wow, that was the easiest exam I've ever done. I'm surprised you took it so well. I, I thought to myself, you're lucky I'm not giving you an uppercut to your chin. But anyway, he said, that's the best specimen I've, I've ever gotten since I've been doing these. And I'm like, yeah, well, I wanted to make sure you got a really good specimen. Phil actually sat out in the car. You know, we think he's got it too, but it's not nearly as bad. And we didn't want to expose the whole building to him and I both, giving them twice the chance of getting the disease. So he sat out in the car with our dog Gibson, um, with his face mask on, and he just waited out there. And I went in and I... I did my appointment, I got my x-ray, we talked about it, I got my prescri my prescriptions and uh, got that test done and then I left and I, I talked the uh, doctor out of this just before I left the room. I said, can I ask you a private question? And he said, sure. And so I shut the door and I said, so listen, I cannot find one of these pulse oxes that you have here. And you know, I want objective information. I want to make sure that my PO2, my, my oxygen level in my blood, perfusion of oxygen, is good. I want to know minute to minute, hour to hour. When I wake up during the night, I was able to check it last night. It takes, I mean, it takes a fraction of a second. <sighs> Anyway, uh, I said, could I rent one from you guys for a week or so while I'm going through this? So anyway, I've been kind of excited talking fast, so I'm 96, but I'm still good, right? I'm still good. So anyway, um, he's like, well, I, we better ask the nurse. And I, and I just like raised my eyebrows and tilted my head like, really? You're going to ask the nurse? No, no dissing you nurses, though, but... You know, sometimes the doctors, we, we learn not to ask you guys because you guys say no to us a lot. And so he said, here, just take it and don't tell anybody. And he says, just promise me you'll bring it back. And I said, I, I swear to God, I will bring it back. And I will. I'm, I'm going to bring it back uh, just as soon as I'm done with it. But anyway, um, I think that's what I wanted to tell you. I'm super excited. I'm doing fine. I know I... I I hear a lot of real concern in your voices and gosh, it's overwhelming me. So don't, don't be afraid for me. I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. And you're going to do fine too. But, uh, you know, it's okay to be afraid. It's, it's okay to be afraid, but I am doing fine. So please don't worry about me. I'm not afraid. I just hate that you guys are afraid. I'm fine. I would tell, I'm an honest person. I would tell you if this was like my last post and you'll never hear from me again. I'm not the kind of person to just like not be honest with you. So I'm being honest here. I'm fine. You're going to be fine. I'm walking down the road to recovery. See you later. I got a long walk in front of me, but I'm going to enjoy the trees and the birds 
in the breeze and everything along the way, the road to recovery. Y'all have a great day today. I love you.